What is going on ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having another fantastic evening, morning, night, whatever time it is you guys are watching this. We're back with another episode of 40 and Fighting. Of course you have me, myself, this beautiful specimen of a man, John, and, and this fucking guy. fucking white belt slayer. This guy, yeah. You fucking any white belts out this week? I did, actually. I had some good rolls. Hell yeah. yeah. I got two this week, and they were both hurt, so I couldn't give them the fucking gas. It happens, man. It happens. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that for another Hey, if you got a cauliflower ear, fuck you. Keep rolling. Don't drain that shit. Don't listen to him. Your ears are important, okay? My They're ears a part are of you. Up. Mine are all fucked up on the inside, so his, you can't see His that was good. in the inside. Was it? Yeah, oh, it, was, it was in the inside. Dude, I, was, I, watched... I was trying so hard not to grab his ear. He, can't, he <laughs> let me get in the scarf hold, and I was like, man, you well, let me scarf hold, hold on. Hold, Before dude. we get going... Uh, uh, Another beer for this episode. Drinking beers again? He's got the 805. I've got a big hazy wolf. Double IPA because I'm a fucking man. But so, just like all things in life, John does everything littler. This is like a 16 this ounce. This is a 9% alcohol. But it's like sir. 16 ounces. This is not 16 ounces. Yes, it is. That's not see. 24. What is it? Look at look at the size. I'm not, it's one look, pint, fool. Yeah, this is 24 ounces. Three point just look at how much more girth I have. Yeah, but this is much stronger. But you know I'm what? I'm just gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Ready? Oh, yeah. I love Excellent. that sound. I love that sound. Look it's it. such a good sound. Cheers and cheers. cheers if you're watching out there with us, drinking with us, or if you're driving to work, it sucks to be you. Don't be drinking while you're driving. That's one thing I can't get behind. Yeah. I like fucking up white belts, but I don't like drinking and driving. That's a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I had that motherfucker in a scarf hold, and I was like, oh, I could rip his shit so good from here. And then I was like, oh, fuck, his ear's fucked up. And then, like, I was kind of trying to avoid grabbing his ear, <clears throat> which I think I was the whole time because I thought it was the other ear. Mm. And then finally he just, like, he kind of reached up and, like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> and then I was like, what's, are you good? And he was like, my I, ear hurts. I, I, uh, <laughs> I saw it. I was like, oh, my God, because he came over and asked, asked uh, Leo to, to drain it. And, mm -hmm. um I had I had brought in a bunch of needles and yeah. alcohol wipes and left them there and told Carol like hey you know if anyone gets it here's some because yeah. I don't know if anyone had it yeah. and it's one of those things where it's like when you need it you, you need, need it, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can't, can't wait. wait that's why my ears are fucked exactly. up exactly so I brought some in and so he went and grabbed them and they're I think there's only twenty five gauge so they're not like the super big yeah. ones but man he like it was fat and he got a lot of it Did out he? of there yeah he got he just a lot had a little bandaid on it's like dude that bandaid ain't doing shit you got to you got to compress it yeah he he got a lot of it out I'm sure I'm sure ear. it swelled back up cuz I grabbed the fuck out of his ear by accident I thought it was his other ear my bad homie you know who you are anyways uh, <clears throat> yeah today I think we had, a, we had a, some random conversations random topics I think uh, one of the things we were talking about earlier Oh I got more about fucking up white belts <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it then let's uh, hear it do you see this new white belt, dude? He looks like fucking Dolph Lundgren. Dude, this dude is big. I, did you see me working tech? Oh, you weren't there. So on, on, I, I, hadn't, I seen him once in one other class or two other classes, and we're, I was bullshitting with uh, the other big jack white belt homie and the black belt dude, and he's kind of just standing there like looking at is us. Is he tall? He's taller than me. He's probably like 6'1". He's not like super big, but he's, this dude's thick. Yeah, I don't know. Donald Trump's thick. Yeah, I don't uh, know. But anyway, so like I'm standing, and finally like we're, we're bullshit. I don't know. We're talking about nothing important. And uh, I look over, and I was like, hey, man, do you need something? And he was like, yeah, is there anything you guys could show me? And, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, there's some shit I could show you. Because I saw him pulling guard earlier in the day. Like, I think it, he's the first couple days, his mm -hmm. first couple days. And he was pulling guard with the wrong foot. He was pulling guard with the foot on the lapel instead Not of the, the control. Yeah. Um, and I was like, yeah, let me show you that. And he's like, well, what would I do when I pull guard? And I was like, well, cross-collar chuck's pretty cool. I cross-collared this motherfucker. His, his face was like three different shades of colors. And I let go, and I was like, were you not going to tap? And he was like, it wasn't there yet. I was like, what does it take to fucking get it there then? It made me, like, question my whole fucking shit. Like, Your existence? I had to hit someone up, and I was like, hey, man, I need, I need fucking pointers on the cross collar because I don't think it's working. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, we'll teach you. You know, I was like, there's some detail I'm missing because this dude's face was changing colors, but he was just like... Uh, could have just been toughing it out. Dude, and then I showed him that. Were you there the other day when Leo showed the one where you hook over the arm and you push... You yeah, push yeah, it? yeah, So... I showed him that, too, and, like, me and Bobby were doing it to each other in the technique, and, like, instantly I feel like I want to pass out because it's, you, you, yep. you got, it's a blood choke. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's right there. And, again, his fucking veins are popping out, and he's not tapping. I'm like, 
You just got to let him go to sleep, man. You just got to let him go to sleep. He's Holy shit. Little lullaby no, I don't think it's that. I think this motherfucker's just about it. He might be. I'm about to yeah, wreck his some shit. Pe- there's some people that Wait till he gets it. a stripe, then it's fucking on. <laughs> Wait till he gets a stripe. That's funny. I told the kid at the, the kid, or no, he's not a kid. He's a man. The dude with the busted ear. Uh, I was like, he's like, got one stripe, I think. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, uh, yeah, I won't wrist lock you because uh, you only got because he was listening to the podcast. I was like, I won't wrist lock you because you only got one strike. And uh, <laughs> he was like, you tried to wrist lock me last time we rolled, and I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. This guy. Oh uh, shit. Hey, by the way, I know your guys' names. I'm just not trying to say them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I guess that's all I got for fucking up white belts for the time being. But yeah, we got some good shit to talk yeah. about. We, you know, I, I have some things I want to talk about that are pretty funny. Uh, but first, I think we want to talk about celebrities, celebrities doing jiu jitsu. Yeah, they do jiu jitsu. There's yeah. quite a few of them, and a lot of them, I think, that most people don't even know yeah. that do it. I mean, you have those obvious I got, I got, ones. I got a really good one that people don't know. Uh, let's talk about the obvious ones next. Yeah, I mean, you got the obvious ones. You, ha- you, you have, um, you know, I'm going to go through this situation where I don't remember. Keanu Reeves? Mo- Keanu! Oh, he's a white belt, right? Yeah, I, I think he's been training for a while. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at least as long as the John Wick movie, so that's longer than I've been training. Uh, yeah. I'll fuck yeah. Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Uh, come see me in his Mario, massive have, And then you have Mario, Mario Lopez. Lopez. I was talking shit last time. I wanted to fight Mario Lopez. I think he'll fuck me up. That fool's about it. I was yeah. thinking about it again after I said well, it. I, he wrestled, bro. He wrestled in high I school. I think the wrestling plus, shit's not real. He wrestled. For real? Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that. I watched him roll in real life. He's good. That motherfucker is about it. You know, you know, I have a lot of respect for 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 celebrities that do jujitsu and actually enter competitions because yeah. there's a, I'm sure a yeah, lot of these, a, a lot of these l- celebrities that we're going to talk about they train right they train yeah. but they never compete and usually their training is like celebrity training where yeah. you don't really roll they just go through techniques yeah and it's techniques. all one on one too yeah it's all one on one techniques so they don't get that experience where you, you know. If you're if you're if you're like getting ready to go compete and fucking like Mario Lopez or Tom Hardy or Mark Zuckerberg shows up, you're you're not thinking in your head, oh man, I don't want to hurt him. You're thinking like, I want to be the guy that smashes this. Yeah, motherfucker. no, one hundred percent. Especially especially the new one that popped with this with Elon. Oh, with Elon, I will oh. break that motherfucker. I will. I will see if he's he competes. Big, so. we'll see yeah, but he he's competes. big. He, I don't think he's a little dude. I think he's kind of big. You think he's gonna get on the I juice? Can't. He's already on the shit. Is he? Oh, yeah. You didn't see the picture when he looked like a fucking Lego? No. Oh, this fool looked like a fat Lego. Oh, wow. And then, uh, like, a couple months later, he was fucking jacked again. He's for sure on Ozempic and the fucking shit. All right. I mean, All if right. you're over fucking 30, why are you not on the shit? I agree. And you're not competing on, in adults. Yeah, if you're not... I mean, if you are competing in adults, fuck it. They don't test everybody. Yeah, you're right. You don't think those fucking Brazilians are... They're, you think they're on I'll more take, than Asai and Jesus? I'll take third place on the fucking adult medal and not get tested. Fuck <laughs> be yeah, like, I'm fucking all, third that, place that's in that's adult, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dude, fucking Ty Ruto took like third place. <clears throat> yeah, so... so um, Yeah, Elon Musk would be interesting to see his progression because one of the things... Here's the thing. You look at guys like Elon Musk and the way their brains work. They're different. They they're geek out on this shit and you're going to watch him and he's going to like... Well, also, I think he's going to take the game and put the, the mental aspect no, of it. No, I don't and, think so. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't I think he's got crazy. the time for it yet. But, oh, um, that's true. But where he is, though, he's in Austin. Or at least he says he's in Austin. I don't know if he actually lives there. But he's in the Austin area. No, fucking, you got new, new, uh, oh, new, next new, wave. Or new, new wave. wave, yeah. You got new wave down there. And Dude, those... imagine him training with Gordon Ryan. Right? Oh, he fucking... for sure is because oh, they all hilarious. fucking jock that fool. I don't, I don't like Elon Musk. I've oh, never liked him. I think he's cool. I always thought he was a fucking scammer. I, th- he, I think he is the most successful Ponzi scheme slash scammer dude all the time. That dude blatantly manipulates the stock market. He doesn't really. He just puts out a tweet and then it happens. How is that not? Or anyway, fuck Elon Musk. I will break his <laughs> shit off. Come, I will travel anywhere in the world to fight that motherfucker if I had the chance. <laughs> I, then, might, right, I might. Then, be get, I might be getting there on the mega then bus. You have uh, Tom Hardy, who's another one who's legit. Yeah, he goes I think out I'd fuck Tom Hardy up. He's a little um, dude. And then uh, Mark Zuckerberg, I think we mentioned. Yeah. The there Zuck. was someone else that I... Um, oh, we were talking about in our little group chat. We were talking Zoltan? about... Uh, no, Logan Paul. Oh, did you see this, the video I sent today? Got, yeah, that he got Craig the, Jones uh, fucking buggy, uh, choked, buggy him? choked him. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. The thing, so here's the, here's the deal. I'm going to go out and be like... I, I, Louis had mentioned that he's like, dude, I bet you... He's like, I'm going to call it now. And he's like, I'm going to say he's going to get a black belt in three years. 
I don't think so. I, I don't know if he'll get it in three years, but it's going to be damn close. He'll going to get it quick. Nah, I think if he's in Holly, if he was in Hollywood and he was training with like the quote unquote Holly Hollywood professors, there's two of them. I don't want to say they're. I'll say one of them. Henry Gracie's bitch ass. Yeah, but uh, but the other one is super legit as well. I mean, Henry's legit, but I mean, he gives out fucking black belts. So yeah, shouldn't get he's them. legit is what you're saying. But yeah, his, yeah, his his, his curriculum school is not. Is yeah, Henry yeah. will break my shit off. Yeah, he's but crazy. as as a. A business person and like running it's business. A school. It's, it's not. It's no, business. Yeah. yeah. And there's another but look, one. But look, dude, Logan Paul. He's a unit, bro. He, yeah, he's jacked. I mean, there's a lot. But of he fun. look. He's not look, only Dolph a jacked. Motherfucker he's got. He's got. He's got. He's got the athleticism to take the moves that, that are like new and Maybe. use them again. I mean, people. he is striking and shit, but I don't know. He, he's jacked for sure. He's a big dude. I think he's like six one, six two. He's a big kid. He's like yeah. around two hundred. He's jacked, but. I mean, he's a white belt. Well, we'll what? see. We'll see. He, you know, the thing is, those two are breaking him off. First of all, I, I'm not a fan of Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and those guys. I think they're idiots. But I'm not not a fan of those guys. I, I'm I'm definitely not a fan. Uh, they're they're just I don't know enough about them. To, I know to plenty enough. Anyway. That they're just not. Yeah. They're just not. Maybe they've changed over time. They're just not good people. But um, most athle- YouTubers athletically, are. athletic wise, they're, they're legit. Like you can't yeah. take away from their athleticism and their For boxing sure, and their accolades. Yeah, and what they're doing. Yeah. So I, I do agree. I think they're going to get. Uh, well, he's going to get promoted pretty quickly. I don't think he's going to train anywhere long enough to get promoted. And, like, if he keeps training with, like, let's say, the reason they were, he was rolling with uh, Volk, Izzy, and uh, Craig Jones was because Craig Jones is in camp with, with Volk mm-hmm. right now. Uh, but the reason they were rolling is they did uh, Prime sponsored those two dudes. Oh. So they were doing, like, some Prime ads. And since they were there, they were rolling okay. and shit. But it's like, I don't think he's going to roll with a real professor long enough to get belted. Craig Jones ain't going to fucking belt him. I mean, he does some wild shit, but he, he's not even belting his own dudes. There was a dude there that they recently, on this week on, on the B-Team's YouTube, they, they promoted some dude after, like, two and a half years of them training all together. They promoted mm-hmm. him from blue to purple, like, two and a half years. So they're not giving away belts yeah. to the B-Team. Yeah, well. I mean, look at fucking Nicky Rod's still a brown belt. Yeah. I mean, if, if anyone deserves to get promoted, it's him. He fucking he got two silver medals at ADCC. One when he was a blue belt, no, one when he was a they, brown belt. They just don't care about belts. They general. don't care about belts, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a, but so what is it? I mean that's a good topic. It's like do belts matter? I don't think so. I think they're for customer retention. Yeah. No, I mean I I think they matter in the sense of like they give you um, an idea of where you are progressively, where your skill level should be, you know, that kind of thing. But, but really in the end, like you shouldn't you, you shouldn't be chasing the belt, right? You, you should, should be chasing. Be yeah. you, you should be look. You should be chasing that skill yeah. level, getting better, getting better, yeah. getting better. But it does give you that like sense of like, um, like when you hang with someone that's higher belt, and yeah. you're like, oh man, like yeah. okay, you know, I only got tapped yeah. once, not fifty yeah. million times. <laughs> you know, although I am one of the greatest jujitsu practitioners of all time. Yeah, I've heard. Um, I don't think belts matter that much because like I was super excited to get promoted to blue. After that, I didn't, I didn't really care. I mean, I've only been promoted once since then, but he doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll s- let me put the clip in here of how many times he's talked about being a purple belt. Yeah, because you're a fucking little ass uh, fucking wait, well, you don't bitch care. ass blue you didn't belt. Care, though. What, you even got you three care. stripes yet? You, you didn't care, remember? I like talking shit to you, though. Upper rank, homie. Did he you ask? Care. Hey, did, he doesn't care. Oh, he ducked me like twice this week, too. I didn't duck you. Tuesday, were you there? Yeah, I was there. For sure, I tried to roll with you on Tuesday, and you're like, no, I don't, I don't no, want to. No, you did out. try to roll with me, but Leo put me with someone. Yeah, you're ducking me, homie. Uh, he put me with Misa. Why are you ducking How me, am I dog? ducking you? Ducking me, I dog. I think he put me with Misa. Yeah, no one wants to roll with Misa. Yeah, I roll with Misa, no problem. I mean, I do. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker pushes my shit in every time we roll. <laughs> it's, he's, he's definitely uh, uh, extremely difficult and challenging to roll with, yeah. but it's I, I always feel like I grow and... Uh, it's pure technique with him because he fucking... Yeah. Well, that's, that's one of the things we wanted to talk about this week. Uh, we, we talked about it briefly uh, between you and I. But, like, the imposter syndrome, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think I've... I don't know how long it's been. I've been since I've been in front of two months. I don't know Maybe. how long it's been. I don't know. I don't keep track of your shit. You got a stripe that day, I think. So I'm sure you got the little fucking note taken down. You're like, I got my stripe on this I day. I don't, I don't track Do you, do you even know who put your stripe on? Because I bet it wasn't Omar that day. I don't know. I think it was Omar. Was it? I don't know. Oh, fucking uh, Fredson put my belt on. He put my belt on, and he put the first stripe on my on my blue belt. Mm. Uh, anyway, the imposter syndrome. Like since I got promoted, Where I was... put my blue belt. Well, he didn't. He took my white belt off. Yeah, who put your blue so belt on? Omar. Oh, that's tight. But Excuse I me. got uh, a picture of Hoyler taking my white belt off. Tying it up. And then did yeah, you untie it? it? No. Yeah, you never yeah. unclosed that. He signed loop. it and everything. Everyone signed it that day. Anyway, Hoyler signed my belt and it fucking rubbed off the we first keep, day. We keep changing yeah. subjects. All right, so the imposter syndrome is like I felt like an I still feel like an imposter being a purple belt. I know I push your shit in, but that doesn't mean much. You're you still a fucking white belt. Do not do that. Um, but but uh, yeah, I mean it's I think that's hard. And going back to like do belts matter? It's like 
not really. Like in the in the world, well, I'm a, I have a purple belt like, given to I, me by I, a real person. I really person. like to talk a little bit more about imposter syndrome, but let's go through this list real quick, and then we'll come back to imposter syndrome because I think oh, the famous people. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck. Let's right, just, no, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, I got some good shit. Okay, so this one I did not know. I'm sure everyone here watched fucking uh, Narcos. Yeah. No, not Narcos. The the one with El Chapo. What was that shit called? Was that was Narcos, right? Well, there was Narcos, and no, it's called El Chapo. No, no, the narco one. Oh, well, the one that, in both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one that dude, the dude that the dude with the fucking hands behind his hand, mm-hmm. back meme, you know, that dude's a fucking purple belt. I'm not sure what? from who, but really? he's been training. His, he's Brazilian, first of all. He's not fucking Colombian. What's his name? Uh, Wagner Mora. So his name's Wagner. So of course he's fucking uh, a Brazilian. The actor fuck. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh but shit. He's a purple belt. He's been training most of his life. They said online, and there's videos of him rolling with Hoyler. Oh, so funny. he's he, he's from hit. somebody legit enough to get him in a room with Hoyler. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, Hoyler's not a fucking star chaser. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to be, you, you have to be connected to someone legit for him to yeah. show up in your place. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that was a really cool one I saw. I mean, I think I'd push his shit in because he's a little fucking curly hair motherfucker. But I'd get his ass. Um, Guy Ritchie's a three-stripe black belt. That's surprising. Uh, he, was, he, he was given his black belt by Henzo. I don't know who's been promoting him. But if, if you would think if he's actually living in England still mm-hmm. and he's from the Henzo lineage, it's for sure Hodger, Hodger Gracie. Yeah. Yeah, because Hodger's the one that belted. Uh, I would love to train at Hodger School. Yeah. Yeah, go there for like cool a month to, and yeah, train there. That would be dope. Yeah, except you got to be in England. I'd be going to England. sucks there. I mean, I've never I'd been there, but I assume it sucks. Me, and, and like Isle Man and shit. Well, my friend, my friend lives there, so. Yeah. This is another good one. The, I don't know. His, I forgot to write his name down. The, the drummer of Poison's like a fucking three-shite black belt, too. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's been out there fucking doing it for a long time. Jason Satham's a fucking black belt. No. From fucking Henzo. Really? Yeah. You know Henzo's not giving away belts. That makes sense. So, I mean, I could see it. I didn't know he was a yeah. black belt. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And, you know, he's... I mean, it, Henzo's not giving away belts. Yeah, Henzo's yeah. one of the most legit Gracies. Yeah. If, if he's top two, top three legit yeah, Gracies. Yeah. Um, fucking Usher. It doesn't say what belt he is, but that motherfucker trains to Galvao at fucking Autos. In San Diego? Yeah, he. I guess he must travel there. To yeah, he's got to travel. So yeah. he's probably he probably he's, real low level. He's probably, he's probably maybe a wider blue belt. Yeah. But I mean, still, if you're gonna go in the room with fucking Galvao, I'm, I'm sure it's killers there. Um, Nicholas Cage. It doesn't say what belt he is, but he trains with Hoist. So like they, they they get in the rooms together and train with Hoist. I'm and not shit. surprised. He's super eccentric. Um, you know, from what I've seen on this list, they I think they did mention Zoltan. We talked about him before, but he's probably the most legit belted dude on here besides the guys who got belted by Henzo. Yeah. Because he's a black belt in judo and in jiu-jitsu. I've seen him compete. And he competes. All yeah. the, he doesn't and, just compete. He yeah. competes all, all the time. time. Yeah, when he's on on tour, he's competing. Anytime, he's any, the last like few tournaments I've yeah. been to, he's been there. Except yeah. for, he didn't go to San Diego, but he went to like the major ones. Yeah, yeah. But that dude's big, too. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure he's super legit. Yeah. Uh, and the dude who gave him his black belt, too, is not like a star chaser. Uh, he's under Hoyler, too. He's one of the he might the dudes. Um, Kelly Slater, I think, is a purple belt. You know that is? Yep. Yeah, for of sure. I know who yeah. she is. I didn't know she was a purple belt, though. He, Kelly Slater. Oh, Kelly Slater. I thought you meant Kelly. No, I don't know. Kelly Slater, he's like one of the most famous surfers of all time. I, then uh, I that do dude, not for know sure, that you is. know he's putting in the work. If he's a purple belt yeah. and like his. His cardio game is yeah, probably ridiculous. He's probably super legit. The, the one I hear that I'm most interested on, I think, is Demi Lovato. First of all, do you think you could fuck her up? Absolutely. She, I've seen some footage, and she's also um, got their belt from that Hollywood. Um, from Hegan. Yeah. And he's, he's the same one that gave mm, out Ashley Kutcher's belt, yeah. and Ashley Kutcher looks like a little punk. So I thought the same kind of shit, because Hegan is one of the more legit black belts mm-hmm. in the world. His accolades speak for themselves, but he does give some funky belts out to people who don't train, who just do privates Who just do him. privates, yeah. Um, and that's what I thought when I saw her. First of all, I don't give a fuck what belt you are. I think she's are. a blue belt. She's a purple belt now. Oh, she is recent. Mm. Yeah, so like, I, I don't care what belt you say you are or what you are. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. If you really want to prove it, let's go roll and see where we're at. Well, I think that, that's, a, that's yeah. like the, that's jujitsu right there. Yeah. You can't, I, you can't roll in, like, I. You can't fake jujitsu. You can't fake it. I can't yeah. roll into, if I roll into a fucking gym and say I'm a black belt, they're going to go black belt on me and I'm going to get fucking smashed. <laughs> And I'm I mean, like, you roll into places telling me you're a blue belt, you still get smashed. You're, you're right. <laughs> I mean, but then you can't roll in and say you're a white belt. Yeah. yeah. Because that, they're going to be like, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. And you're yeah. sandbagging. And yeah. then they're going to smash you even I harder. think next time I travel, I'm going to bring the old white belt out. Oh, crack no. the old white belt out. Uh, but on the Demi Lovato thing, so I thought the same shit. And I don't know if this is true. It could have been a joke. But do you know who Rafael Lovato Jr. is? Yes. Supposedly, he posted, congratulations to my cousin for getting promoted. They're cousins? They both have the same fucking last name. They're I from close like, enough together. I feel together. like that's like, 
you know, like if you're Italian, you're Italian. Yeah, yeah. Hey, cousin. But why would he even post that? Like, he's like as legit as it gets. Bellator champion, multiple time world champion, multiple time master champion, Euros. He's won everything. everything he's yeah. the fucking. They call. He is so fucking good and he's so prominent in jujitsu, they call him the American. I don't know. That's... So, I mean, so is Demi, is she legit or not? I, think, I, think, I'll, I think my wife will break her yeah, shit I, I don't off. Think she's, I don't think she's legit. Yeah, I don't think so either. I, but I think Brianna would fuck her up. Well, Brianna's fucking good. No, she, she fucks me up, dude. She's really good. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> just, I always tell people, like, when I, when I tell them that we both do jiu-jitsu, I'm like, yeah, she's the good one, though. Yeah, she's yeah, good, I just, I'm just there smashing fools. Trying to smash fools, at least. Um, who else we got on this bitch? Uh, Usher, we talked about Nicolas Cage. Um, I think most of them. Yeah, the, the, the El Chapo ones makes a lot of sense because he's from Brazil. Purple belt, he's legit. I would, I'd like to, Oh, Jonah Hill. White belt. He's new white belt. Nah, he's been training for a while. Really? I remember seeing him training jiu-jitsu before I was training jiu-jitsu. No. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I don't I remember think so. Him. I don't think so. But that fool's so. all tweaked out now. I think I'll break him yeah, off, Yeah, he's though. skinny. He don't he want, got, the, he he don't want the smoke. We give it to him? You give him the fucking smoke? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm asking you questions while you're drinking a beer, but I'd break that Definitely. motherfucker up. So would you, if you had the opportunity to get in a room with these dudes, would you be starstruck or would you fucking break them off? No, oh, I'd break them off. I would fucking break I want, them because, off. Because you want to be the guy that is going to be in all the highlight reels and on the news clips be like, damn. I mean, there's a guy that just dropped, um, it's in the news articles, like Mark Zuckerberg got taken down pretty hard in a competition. Supposedly he got, got put swept to sleep. or something. Yeah, something. Yeah. And everyone was like talking about it. And uh, now video surfacing. So I want to be that guy. That's who I want to be. So I, I want to be that guy. I'm going to put well. him to sleep and then I'm going to get up and be like, my Instagram name is Ghost of <laughs> My YouTube channel is Ghost of While he's going to sleep, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, hey, my. <laughs> hit, hit him with a fucking shout. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I think the same shit. I would like to break him off. I'm trying to break off everyone when I roll. Yeah. But, um, but so you what would if go it, extra. With yeah, him. but yeah. say you're rolling a Zuck and then he just fucking puts it in you. Damn it, what's up? I would fucking be shielding my face and shit. I'd be I'll, rolling. I'd fake an injury. Like, oh, 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 my cramp. I need ah. I'm like, ah, my knee. My knee. Oh, no, he didn't give me. He my knee was I, 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 shot, yeah. I shot for the single, blew my knee out. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, you're faking injury is the way to go. Faking injury. <laughs> I'm a flop, man. Yeah, I'm a flop. flop. <laughs> that's what I would do. Fuck, that's a good thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, but out of the, out of the legit dudes, I think I would like to get Mario Lopez the best. Dude, that would you know, be a good role, I, I, I thought I thought about this as we were talking about it earlier a few minutes ago. So I saw him roll, and I thought his outside passing was wild. He was like leg weaving. He was doing some shit. But maybe the dude he was rolling with just sucked. Yeah. Or he wasn't fat. I mean, I'm just calling like I see them. Well, he for sure wasn't fat because yeah, right. I mean he was cutting weight. But I mean, like, I mean, he's gonna have trouble with you. So what's your excuse he would to have me? Trouble with you. He would have trouble. With I'm you. way fatter than you. I know. So that makes it more difficult. Ah, oh, whatever. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, but you were going the opposite way. No, no, I was saying it'd be more oh, difficult. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure it's more yeah, difficult. Yeah. I got to eat, I mean. homie. Yeah. Big dog got to eat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. What else you got to say about these fucking celebrities? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I do like that more and more people are going to do it. Oh, you know who you forgot? Who was, uh, there's two more people you forgot, which I think are, should be on here. Um, what was the chef that he died? Oh, Bourdain. Bourdain. Yeah, he I saw someone talking about on Reddit. Purple belt or blue belt? I think he was, was a purple belt. I think purple belt. Um, he and he like he was legit. He competed as well. There was Bourdain would be competing. scary because he might fucking get you. Like he might take your back and be like whisper shit in your ear. And be like, hey man, I might <laughs> fuck you after this. Sweet shrimp. No, I think he sauce. might try to fuck you. I think that ah, was wild. And then, um, but he competed. And then you had um, was it Russell? Russell Brand. Random. So I actually have him written down here. So Russell Brand, I for sure would break that little skinny like, motherfucker off. Yeah, but I like. I'd be worried about the. I'd be worried about the triangle. <laughs> but I would like, stack the fuck out he, of him. He had posted some um, um, videos about Ooh. jujitsu and what what they mean to him and things like. They were pretty insightful. I I, I listen. He has his own. He's a yeah, little out there. Yeah, that thinks he's a fucking guru. Oh yeah, though. he's a little out so there. So that, that remind, I wanted to talk about this a couple times ago and I forgot. So I want you to be ready for this shit. Are you oh, fucking ready? Yeah. Let's Maybe go. we did talk about this. Let's I'm, drop I've been, it. I've been kind of fucked up on the last podcast. Yeah. Um, so Joe Rogan was talking to Russell Brand. I did not, did not watch that one because Russell Brand's annoying as fuck to me. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about basically, you know, if you're if you're a purple belt, oh, you're and you've been, you, a black you, belt. you're fucking essentially a black yeah. belt. What the fuck's up, motherfuckers? Yeah. I mean, I understand where he was going with that. Basically, you know, oh, hold on, hold on. you know the 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 foundation of all moves. You know stuff from everywhere, yeah. right? I mean, I think maybe if you're a fucking Jean Jacques Machado purple belt, you might be a black belt. That's where, like, the different shit comes in, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, our school's yeah. legit as fuck. You can't say it's not. 
But am I a purple belt compared to John Jacques Machado purple belt? I don't fucking know. But maybe maybe ways. I know as much as I maybe I know more than I think I know because like a lot of times I think about I think about jujitsu all day every day. Yeah, it's same. always on my mind, and I start thinking about shit. And I'm like, well, I don't know what I don't know. Yeah. And I, I think we're so focused on winning in the gym that you're just staying with your A1 shit always. Like, I'm trying to pass someone's guard and fucking paper cut them. I don't, I don't even know how we started doing that. I, I don't... Um, well, I've always liked the paper cutter, so that was always my thing. I just... I've been working to get it... Actually yeah. f- finish it yeah. on people. But... Um, well, I... I, I, I've I been remember trying new shit from North-South. So I mean, I've, I, I I've saw, been going for yeah. different things. You try that Hoyler choke? I've done it a few times. I don't go for that one too much because I do. But I, don't I just like crush the... people's faces. With... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's uncomfortable. Hey, yeah, man. yeah. Uh, wait, tap, which one tap, are you talking you know about? Are you talking about the one under it's the It's kind of like the Marcelo the... Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, 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 but I don't. I go more for the Marcelo version where I stick my hand under and then try to gable grip. That's kind of what I do. I, I go. Saw, I don't I, like the one that yeah. one because I have trouble. I can't do getting that. that arm out. Yeah, I can't do then, the Ezekiel motion. Yeah, so yeah. I I go under the head, make sure this one's as deep. Yeah. And then this one's usually under the arm, and then I'll kind of do this. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll start. For the motherfuckers listening, he's talking about gable gripping his wrist and shit like that. But yeah, that's what I try to do too. I forget, yeah. Some yeah, because on Spotify, yeah, might, uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I, I gable grip the wrist too when I get to that mm-hmm. position, and I just try to sink all my weight and crush their face. <laughs> you know what I've been doing though? It's kind of a dick move, but um, Johnny did it to me once. Hey, is there a dick? Is there a dick moves? Or you're you not. You're right. You're right. Uh, Johnny did it to me once, and it fucking hurt like hell, and he didn't mean to do it. But hey, when that I go, meant when, to I, do it. when I go to that, when I go to that move, I'll take my chin. And I'll start like digging it right here into the because yeah. I because I walk backwards, yeah. but because they want to come up to try to relieve yeah. the pressure, so I start. I've been digging my chin yeah. like right into the stern That's of their legit. chest to try to like make you like no nope, stop stay down. You, you know? know you know what I do a lot too, not specifically from north south, but from like the guard. Uh, when I get ready to break the guard, I don't mean to do it. I do it all the time though. I mean to pressure my head into somebody, but I end up headbutting people in the stomach or the chest all the time. <laughs> throwing you know, full on head, head. yeah, That's throwing right, yeah. big ass, throwing full on headbutts. Sorry, if I do that to you, sorry, but fucking open your guard and maybe just let me pass. <laughs> just let me pass. Just let me pass. Like, yeah, you won't fucking have to cry about it. You know, I was listening to someone recently, and they were talking about when you're rolling with someone like they're like, they're like, um, it might have been John Danaher, or he, or maybe it was him, where he was like, if if Danaher. someone if someone clubs you. Like, if they go for the collar group and they club yep. you, you better fucking club them back, back twice oh, as sure. hard. For sure. And, and that way they don't do it again to you. Or if they yeah. do something, you do it twice as hard. Yeah. That way they don't go for that same fucking shit again. Yeah. And that's, I think that's one thing I do for, like, wrist locks when, when I'm competing. I always mm-hmm. go for wrist locks. And then they stop grabbing my gi after, after I re- try to wrist lock them a couple times. Um, I, I got it. You know, yesterday I was rolling with an upper belt, uh, purple belt, fucking purple belt master. Mm-hmm. Upper belt. What? That made no sense, sir. He's a master. He's a purple belt. And you're not. Anyway, rolling with him, wrist locked the fuck out of him standing, right? Mm-hmm. And I had that motherfucker in, and I could feel his wrist wriggling around. He sat down and butterfly swept me. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. I had that shit fully locked in. He was like, I was panicking. I had to sit down. I didn't know what to do, and I swept you. And I was like, well, it, it fucking works. Yeah, it fucking works. Because <laughs> he had that, I had wrist locked this shit out of him. I've been wrist locking everyone standing up. Yeah. Everyone's been I like, I like the wrist lock standing. Yeah, I try not to. I, I used to try not to do it to people, but so many motherfuckers in our gym do it to me. So fuck them. Everyone's getting it. Everyone should get it. Two stripes and up. You're getting it. <laughs> Two stripes and up. You got to learn how to defend it. I, I tell, mean, I you're tell, not wrong. I tell all the white belts who grab me low on the collar. I tell them. I warn like, them. Hey, like, you're get don't grab me there. there. I'm going to break your shit. Mm-hmm. And I, if they do it after that, I break the shit. I do, I do also... Um, I do also say that to them. I yeah. tell people, like, hey, don't, don't grab here because yeah. you're going to get your shit fucked. Yeah. We were going on a good thing before we started about talking about famous people again. Oh, we were talking about um, imposter syndrome. Oh, yeah, imposter syndrome. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the worst fucking purple belt in the room. And right now, I probably am the worst I, one in art school. But the last week, two weeks now, I've been not trying to roll to submit people. I've been trying to roll to get out of positions that I get stuck escapes in. Escapes and stuff. And yeah. I've been feeling better about it. Like, I think last week, this week, it's only been two or three days. We're recording on a Thursday this time. Uh, I, I missed Monday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I rolled. And I didn't really get hit with anything crazy. I got stuck in some wild ass triangles though. Mm. But um, and fucking Josh armbarred me, but not from the guard, motherfucker. <laughs> and that's what we were talking about. You can get me from side the side control version, but you ain't getting me from the fucking guard. Um, but uh, uh, I just been trying to get out of positions, and the position I've been working on getting out of is like the knee weave. So like either like the knee shield, the Z guard, whatever half guard. Pass, and I've been yeah. getting out every fucking time. What are you doing? What, I'm not telling you because you're gonna fucking put me in the half guard. And I'm gonna get out and fucking hit you with some hot shit. 
Yeah. No, I, you might get headbutted I, I in agree. there, though. <laughs> <laughs> you might get a fucking headbutt. <laughs> I, uh, I know that uh, when I got promoted, I definitely, you know, I, and I don't, I, I definitely felt the imposter syndrome. Like, I was like, man, I shouldn't be a blue belt. Um, and I think for sure now I'm past that, but now, you know, I've been a blue belt for a year and a half now. If I mm-hmm. still didn't feel like a blue belt, then we'd have a problem. But I think that's like always going to be the case when you get year promoted. and a half. You're still never, a blue belt. Yeah, that's why I can still compete in IBJJF. Yeah. Phenom. <clears throat> Continue. Anyways, um, and then I feel like that's why, um, like, I can't compete in the IBJJF because I say I'm too fucking hot for competition. Oh, too hot for TV, huh? That's what. <laughs> Should I bring my fucking my, my all my medals? He's too hot like for the, TV. That's why he can't. Uh, he can't compete. Hey, in did you did you pe- did you place in the Euros? That's a major, motherfuckers. Your 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 participation trophy. Hey, did you bring yours out here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hey, just if, check if, it. if you're bringing yours, I'm bringing I mine. I was just you know checking. All right, I was just checking. You know. And I um, flew like four thousand miles to get my five. fucking ass I'll beat. give it to you. You flew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the dude who beat me won. So what's yeah. up? Yeah. Well, it was just. You, no, there was like seven or eight dudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got right. a buy and then I fucking got submitted. Um, so the buy got me on the fucking on the podium. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got your silver medal too. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Um, uh, yeah, but I think imposter syndrome is like legit, and uh, it sucks. It is some. It's hard to even overcome. Yeah. To be honest, it's it's hard to overcome. Yeah. Um, I think I'm far. I, I definitely feel far enough in my blue belt now that I don't. I feel like I deserve a blue belt. Do, yeah. do I think I'm a three stripe, close to four stripe? No. Who said um, you're close to four stripes? I did. I said so. That doesn't mean shit. Because I'm the, that's the next one. So it's you're still a year away stripe. from getting your purple belt. Hopefully. Yeah, but Hopefully. I'm just saying. So that's not, not a year. Half a year. Well, let, let's say you get. A, I'm, you I'm just a, got your third stripe two months ago. So. I didn't get striped for you for a long time. You got two stripes at one time. Both two at two belts. What's up? Yeah, because so I'm a I, fucking feed on anyways, dog. So uh, I'm I'm ho- I mean, if it takes me another year to be, Wait, were I you there when I got both those stripes? Yeah, it was on. I thought it was on a weekend. No, no, it was like uh, it was after a competition. Oh, okay. I forgot what competition. He gave you two stripes. I was like, like oh, put okay. in that fucking work. Um, that's why. But uh, if I if it takes me another year, yeah. I'll be fucking happy. I'll just keep competing at Blue Belt. Yeah, That'd for be, sure. I'm, I'm with stoked. that. I'm, I'm, I'm like, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, for sure. But uh, I feel confident that I'm a, a Blue Belt at least, and I do know that like some some Purple Belts I can smash and some Purple Belts. Yeah, I for sure. Can, I'm, I'm on I the can, same plane. I can like hold my own with yeah. for sure, and and it's a fight. Yeah. And some I can't do shit. So yeah, I, you know I feel better about. Doing better against purple belts who always fuck me up, especially when I first got promoted. Mm-hmm. All the purple belts I did well against when I was a blue belt, not well, I'd say that I held my own against when I was a blue belt, when I was getting towards the end of blue belt. Um, and then when I got promoted, they were just fucking crushing me. Yeah. And then now I'm starting to hold my own against them and get into better positions. I, I, I literally just thought about my game for like three or four weeks. And I said, why am I doing this? Why am I always going forward? You don't always have to go forward. You can move different directions. You can, Side, you know, back, yeah, yeah, and, and that's how I've been getting out of dumb positions. Because I think mm-hmm. a lot of guys at our school, I didn't, I didn't think about this recently, or someone said it to me. It's like schools have a style, mm-hmm. like, and I didn't, yeah, I didn't even sure. think about. I, I thought about it at the local level. Like we have a style that's somewhere based on Omar's game, right? Yeah. But I didn't consider that his style is based on his school. So Gracie Umaita has a style, and I didn't think. I about don't it. know. No, they about do that. for sure. Watch all the Gracie Umaita dudes. They all try to smash past. Not a lot of guys are doing like tiny like leg weave shit. One of the only dudes was Omar. Well, it's a bit more old school. It's more old school, yeah. so it's more that grinding going yeah. forward. So a lot of our students grind and go forward. And I started thinking, it was like, well, what happens if you don't grind and go forward? Mm-hmm. And because we all have that grinding going forward focus, you can go left or right, and people in our school don't quite expect it. And I think that's what makes you a higher level competitor because all role dudes in competition, they do I, different shit. They do different shit, yeah. but I'm so used to everyone grinding on me. That they can't, like, you, everyone's yeah. seen me compete at our school. So, yeah. like, I usually get stuck in the half guard, and they can't pass until I fuck up. Mm-hmm. That's because everyone at our school grinds so hard, I'm good at holding the half guard. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I feel like less, I'm feeling less and less like an imposter every day it goes on. Does that mean I might not go to another school, I'm traveling, and get my ass fucking whooped, I'm going to have oh, to go with the white sure belt? you're definitely going to get your ass whooped at another school. That's what happens. I've, I've had both. So I've I, had both. We were at, I was at uh, Omar's house um, a few weeks ago, because we were talking about our trip, and uh, we were, like, coordinating. And then, you know, afterwards, uh, we were talking about, um, obviously, jujitsu. And one of the conversations that came up is, 
uh, and you might find this interesting, uh, Carol was talking about the difference between the United States and the difference between Brazil when it comes to belt ranking. So uh, she was saying that in Brazil, uh, it's opposite than the United States. So in Brazil, you get a purple belt, uh, blue belts and white belts um, don't go as hard on you because they want to learn from you. They want to learn what you mm -hmm. know. So they want to learn from your techniques and things yep. like that. Where in the United States, you become a purple belt, you put a target on your back, and everybody wants to murder you. All the, yeah. all the new blue belts, all the blue belts want to beat yeah. you. All the white belts obviously want to put a name on you, whatever. And so you become a target, and everyone just wants to smash yeah. you or call you out. And you've experienced that. People are calling you out yeah. now, right? Because I've been talking mad shit. You do talk but a lot of shit. You, know the thing, you, you do kind of deserve yeah. it, but hey, you know what? Yeah, but how many of them are pushing my shit in? Yeah, you're right. I mean, fucking you're right. none of those white you're belts right. want shit. But you know what makes you really get past the point of feeling like an imposter? is when you fucking smash white belts. When you notice the level of you the smashing difference. them goes up and goes up, yeah. and then, like, they're, they're, they're getting better, but then you're getting better, too. Well, you're getting better also, at... Also, same, same, yeah. the same thing. It's like new blue belts. When you roll with a brand new blue belt, it's like, oh, it's just like I'm rolling with a white belt. Yeah. Like, I know the difference. Yeah. And that's, a, for, for me, like, yeah. I still being a blue belt, yeah. like, I can see the difference between yeah. my blue belt and, like, a newer blue belt. Yeah. You know, and that goes to that white belt shit. Yeah. But you're right. Everyone yeah. does get, and, and that's, I think that leads to the imposter syndrome too, is if you're in a good team and you're training and everyone's consistent, everyone's getting better. Yeah. So you never feel like, like, you know, like there might be a white belt that you, you were struggling with at, 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 you get promoted to blue belt, but there's this white belt that you've been struggling with. Yeah. And as you get better at blue belt, you still can't beat that person. You're like, fuck, I should be able to beat that person. But the thing is, they're getting better at the same time. Yeah. So but until I think, someone new comes in and you're like, yeah. oh, wow. But I, I think as you get better, you get better faster. So as you progress through the ranks, I think you take leaps that are bigger than the lower belts. I, I, think, I think my I, – I think it's opposite. I think you don't. But unless you come do, – Do you think maybe you're just t your technique gets sharper? Because when I was still like yeah, a, for sure your technique yeah, is sharp. Because I, I think I started hitting the paper cutter probably like around one like around blue belt. Because I can remember the day that Omar showed it to me, mm -hmm. and I didn't I didn't understand it at the time. And I was like, what? The, why do you got to fucking do? That? I don't understand this shit, mm -hmm. right? And then Leo showed it again, and he broke it down the way that he does it, which is different from the way Omar yeah. does it. Then it's like, oh, that's more of my style, that grinding, smashing mm -hmm. shit. So it started working. But as I'm getting as, as I'm progressing, I'm hitting it more and more on better people. Yeah, but I think that goes back to what we were talking about earlier with Joe Rogan when you were saying a purple belt's a black belt. And that's, what, that it, again? And that's what it is. It's, it's not that... that uh, it's, it's, it's more the fact that you're getting better at that technique. You're, you're using yeah, it you're more Yeah, you're sharpening that technique. Sharpening yeah. The, yeah, you're sharpening the blade for that technique. Yeah. So when someone does you know, blocks this way, you are like, oh, I need to do this. And they yeah. move this way, oh, I need to do this. Or when they do this, I need to do this, right? And you learn uh, how, to do, how to do certain things, right? Yeah. So, for example, uh, in North-South, like, I can keep almost everybody down that I've rolled with. If I get you in North-South, I can pretty yeah. much hold you and stall you out there. Yeah. I may not get the submission every time, but I can almost always stall you out and make you suffer. Sure. And that's just because yeah. I'm learning now, like, oh, um, you know, you start learning how to read body language. It's like, all yeah. right, I know he's going to try to twist here. Let me adjust. Boom, yeah. he hits it. I blocked it. Oh, he's going to try to come back this way because that's what they do. I'm already there. So you yeah. start learning, like, what people, not necessarily what people do, but what the, the sequence of, of events that happen. And so you're like, how do I block it? And you start learning those things. Yeah. And that makes that position stronger or that technique stronger. And you get better at yeah. using it. So, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, I think... There's a whole realm of like geeking out over jujitsu, and I freaking love it. Like nerding out on jujitsu, like the, the the super technical, detailed aspects of jujitsu, um, and I think that's what makes it so so addicting. You get so yeah. much from it because it's it's like how many times have you been in class, and you know someone shows something, um, and it's it's maybe you've seen this technique a million times, but then they show it just a little bit different, and you're like. Boom, that clicks. Yeah, well, that's, I understand. That's what like you think, yeah. for sure, like yeah. it's like boom, it clicks for yeah. you, and now you get it. Yeah. So it, it's just it's that's what that's what makes I think jujitsu so awesome and why it's so like once people start, it's so addicting. Yeah. You know, as as you progress, you start to think about things more. This has kind of been fucking me up the last couple of weeks. Is do you? I mean, I think. I think right now my professor thinks I'm bitch made. This motherfucker. There's either two things going on. I'm either getting better and I'm smashing everyone, or he keeps giving me lighter rolls. Which one do you think it is? 
He could be giving other people harder roles, people that are competing. Oh, I didn't even fucking think about that. Yeah, what's up, motherfucker? I have not had hard I, role, I have not had easy roles. I've been getting every role for me has just been I, easy. Like it's I mean like, I get a not I, every role. I, I get, some of you motherfuckers fuck I do, me up. I do get Ain't no white belt though. I do get white belts from time to time. Yeah. But for the most part, like lately it's been like Louis, Kyle, fucking Leo. Um, you or like all upper belts and all of them are like upper belts all of them are like hard fucking roles you know yeah. uh, or freaking Luke like I had a role with Luke and I'm just like man man Luke fucks me up yeah he I goes he, you know he, he goes he looks at me and he looks at Leo and then he goes uh, Omar looks at me and looks at Leo and then he goes which one do you want and he points to Gabe and he points to Luke and I'm like neither one of those yeah. are good choices neither one of those are good yeah. choices so I was like I'll go with Luke yeah. and Omar's like and Leo's like oh shit, good luck with that I'm gonna, one I'm gonna have to hit him up this, I'm gonna hit him up tomorrow and be like hey man I want the hard rolls every fucking day all day and I wanna roll every roll that's also something cause I'm, try, I'm trying to compete I've been rolling a lot like I go in um, and I've been getting like 6-7 rolls a night that's how it used to and be and no breaks me. no breaks when I was the um, favorite <laughs> and then I go to the 10 a.m. You know, and so it's been it's been rough. Except for my arm right now, it's, it's really fucked up, man. It, so let's let's talk about that. I wanted to talk about your week. I try to ask you how's your week going every week. So first of all, let's start off the first weekly like that. question. That's kind of good, good, good. good deal. How much do you weigh today? I didn't weigh myself today, but it's probably like two hundred. So you're gaining yeah. weight? No, I'm staying about the same. I'm not like trying to cut weight, but I'm also not. Eating. All right, fatty. I'm, I'm still eating my diet, so it's like. Hey, what's chicken. hurt? On, what's hurt on you right now? I got like a nerve, a pinched nerve, man. I don't know what the fuck it is. That's why I didn't go. Well, let's go down the list. list. What's hurt? Just my, my nerve, my pinched nerve. Are you still tapping your fingers? I always tap my fingers. That's you still wearing four? Are you wearing four knee braces? That's, all, that's <laughs> how you wearing four that's knee braces? That's preventative. How man. you wearing four knee that braces on two knees? That is preventative. <laughs> it's preventive. Preventative maintenance. Preventive. Preventative. I'm it, gonna say preventative. Right. <laughs> preventative maintenance. Well, I'm gonna call the ambulance when it's time. I have. <laughs> I. You know what? I'm. I'm gonna get a tattoo that just says check engine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna yeah. say check engine. And if you're hurt, hashtag check engine yeah, on the fucking YouTube yeah, comments. Yeah, just gonna have a check engine. You know what? That's a dope tattoo. Now that I think check about it. Light. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a check yeah. engine light. So that's like that meme. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme where it's like, uh, you know, like, oh, I was at the doctor and the doctor, the, the doctor asked me what hurt. Or he goes, um, he goes, what hurts? And he goes, oh, you know, the normal stuff. And then the doctor says, the normal stuff is no hurt. No pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Normal yeah. is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the yeah. normal. <laughs> so, you know, I was talking about, like, uh, before we got derailed and how fucking fat you are and how hurt you are. Hashtag glass. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you know, I was watching the Worlds. Uh, we, I think we did, we did last Saturday, so we didn't see the finals, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. the finals yeah. were the next day. Yeah, we didn't talk we about them. There were some so, amazing There were some amazing matches. finals. I want to talk about one of them, but this one first. Um, so we, I was saying, does my professor fucking think I'm a bitch? I don't think so. I got to hit him up and be like, well, I'm going to pull him aside separately. Like, he wouldn't up? have given you a purple belt. I think he's regretting it. And I got a fucking imposter syndrome right there, right? Anyway, so one of I think he's you know, regretting it. No. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's my fucking thing, too. But unfortunately, um, our school as a collective, uh, there's some high-level UFC fighters, but there's no high-level grapplers right now. No, no men high-level grapplers. And there's one who made it to the finals from our academy. Uh, when you say a school, you're talking about Humaita. Uh, Humaita in general. All yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah not, you know, not from our school. Um, and Hoyler was there watching. Well, you, you also had Janaine. Who the fuck do you think I'm talking about? Oh, okay. All right. That's, that's the only I was trying I not to of. say her name. Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so she was in the finals. I said one person from our entire academy made yeah, it to the finals. Okay. No. Um, that war girl is pretty good, too. Oh, she pulled out, I think. There's, yeah. Tatiana. I don't know. No, she's from the, the, the South Bay in San Diego. Yeah, there's, one, there's, really there's one chick who made it to the... There's one person from all Grace Humaita... Who made it to the finals? It was Giannina. Yeah. Or however the fuck you say her name. And she um, lost Fiona again. She got smashed by Fiona. Uh, and it wasn't even it wasn't even fucking close. So do you obviously her professor's not Hoyler, but that's Hoyler's Academy. I don't know if you guys knew that. That's you know, it's the headquarters it's in the United headquarters, States. So that's yeah. Hoyler's Academy. So what do you feel like if you wa- if you lose in front of your professor, or not even your professor, the head so the guy I, who holds the flag for us. So I watched um, I, I don't remember who it was. Um, I watched his video, and uh, he he was like he got his black belt, um, but he had won like worlds like two years in a row at Brown, 
and he didn't get his black belt. And he was expecting his black belt. He's like, oh, I'm going to get a black belt. He didn't get his black belt. And then he lost. And then on the podium, the professor gave him his black belt. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, crying. He's like, why the fuck are you giving me a black belt? Like, I don't deserve a black belt. I just lost. And the professor was like, dude, black belt isn't about winning world titles. Black belt is about you're getting to the point where now you can pass this on to other people. You can teach people. Like, you can show people jujitsu. You can, like, carry the torch and basically, you know, the future of yeah. jujitsu. And that's what black belt's about. It's not about winning world titles. That's what it's about. And I will say, from a standpoint of, like, you know, my daughter, my wife, you know, uh, just seeing it from them, even your wife, your wife, right? Janine does do that. She fucking inspires women to do jujitsu, and there's not a lot of women that do jujitsu. When you look at someone as badass as well, yeah, the the, uh, the the brackets are like a third the size of worlds. There's yeah. 16 dudes in the bracket for men. And I think there's like eight in a girls. For girls, yeah, yeah so half. Not yeah, there's third, just but, not as many. Yeah. But there's there's more to winning. Um, you know, I think a world title. Yeah, is it awesome? Yeah, and if you want to run your own school. That's how you fucking do it. You have medals and accolades to do it. I don't think so. But, I mean, but, some of the best schools I've been to, none of them are winners. I mean, they're true. winners, but they're not like. Yeah. I mean, like Clay, Clay Mayfield School. I mean, he's a black belt. I think he. I think he's won Nogi Worlds at brown belt, but I don't think he's won anything at black belt. Nothing, but, but nothing I think, important. But I think if it, it, she inspires people, inspires women to roll. And the same with Fiona and all the top level women, right? They inspire Fionn. women. Fion, Fion, Fiona. Fionn. I think he's Shrek. Yeah, I was like, damn, homie. Fucking <laughs> Shrek, Fiona. I mean, she is Irish or whatever. She's fucking Scottish yeah, or something. Uh, but you inspire people to want to continue, yeah. right? So, I mean, I, I'm sure from her standpoint, it's probably embarrassing and it sucks. And I'm sure it hurts, too, to be at that level. Like, you have to, you're not going to be a world champion and, and not think I'm the best. I think if I fucking rolled in front of Hoyler, he would take my fucking purple belt and make me cry. I think... I don't want to comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> you can comment on it. Uh, I mean, I... Because th- I, I, then he would fucking just kick you out of the school. You got your purple belt because your professor thought you were a purple belt. That's it. End of story. What up? That's the bottom line. Yeah. Right? That's all that yeah. matters. Yeah. Whether you hey, thought you deserve it, you want to pause this couldn't get those other beers? I got some funny shit to I talk really about. want another beer. Yeah, we'll be right back. Yeah. We're back. He's okay. going to open a beer. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. Enough of that sentimental shit. Sorry, we had to get another beer. Yeah. We're back on that shit. Okay, so I got some questions on how much of a fucking hurt motherfucker you are. Okay. Because I'd be talking mad shit to you all the time for taping your fingers and yeah, shit. Yeah, but under, I, I roll more than you. Right now I you work, do. I work out more than you. Yeah, yeah. I put in more... You should be hurt less. I, no. I yes. put more... Then what's your fucking excuse for not winning me all the time? Damage on my body What's your excuse? You. What, but what? You in here at four in the morning, David Goggins I in do. here carrying the fucking boats. I, someone's got to carry the boats. Who's going to carry the boats? They don't know me. Yeah, they don't know me, son. Anyway, you do all this shit, you still can't beat me. But you can't beat me. I don't even try when I roll you, with you. But you weigh like 290 pounds. 293 today. Exactly. So that's a, If you're carrying the boats, what does it matter? It matters. It does not matter. Yo, okay, let me tell Jay this is you with that, and then we'll see how that Jay's is. better than me. Jay's bigger than you. You purple belt. All right, so you know who's big? Oh, wait, you know, you know, now. Yeah, but, but you know, you know who we who weighs similar to me? Danny, white belt Danny? No, purple belt Danny. Skinny one? No. He's big my Danny. size. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying about? Though? He smashes you. He's way better than I am. Purple belt, purple belt, son. All right, I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> it does to me. So we're like Chester. We're about the same size. Mm-hmm. I put it on him. I, you know, I, I have part. I, oh, yeah, I mean, but he, I think he, we weigh about the same. But he, had, if I have you a, weighed any less, he would throw you across the fucking room. Dude, he threw me one day. Oh, my, my toe is fucked. You up should for see it. him throw Johnny. That's why uh, I, 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 I feel bad. I feel bad for Johnny. I wish I would have been there that day. I but, feel bad for Johnny. So one day, that, if I roll with yeah. him, I'm there's, I'm like, nope, pulling guard. Yeah, fuck I, it. I think. Oh, I stopped doing that to him. I'm well, he'll smash up. you too. He's getting good at smashing. He's, he's getting better. Yeah. So I don't pull guard anymore. But so I that the day the day after he fucked up Johnny, he rolled me and he had some fucking heat in the tank. I guess. And he tried to throw me, and I stopped it, but I dragged my foot across the ground. I thought that shit was broken. So I literally <laughs> yeah. sat, I like, I, it hurt so bad, I like laid down and tried to like get through the pain. And <laughs> then he was coming with the heat. So I was like, man, fuck this fool. I stood up, I put him in a front headlock, 
and I fucking threw him over my shoulder and smashed him onto some other people behind us, and I had the Kimura ready to rip on him. And they're like, hey, stop, stop. And I was like, man, fuck that. I, I, I earned this Kimura. I just got the shit beat out of me for three minutes, and I Kimura'd him, and they made me stop. So I, going back to injuries, I roll about mm. six to seven times a week. Yeah, that's fine. And I lift about five to six times a week. Not little this, like an hour and a half. But why do you tape this. your finger? You only because you, my fucking finger always gets fucked up. This finger's always been messed up. All right, it's but I was going up. somewhere with that. All right, where were we going with it? Am I bitch makes? I wrap my toes. No, that's what I think. People always look at my fucking toes. Remember, I, I used remember when I broke my toe. I bought those like uh, silicone silicone. I didn't want to wrap them. I don't like wrapping them. Why well, wrap my? I use band aids. Oh, that makes more Cause sense. Because I'm not they trying to... They stretch a little bit. Yeah, and I'm so not, that's, they don't, that's they don't, don't fall like, off either. That's what I don't like the tape. Yeah. So my... I broke my toes. A lot of people break their toes. I broke my toe. Yeah, my wife broke it like two or three and times. And what I, when I use the tape, what I realize is I either tape it... You tape it, and then it's too fucking hard, and it yeah. just hurts to step or on fucking, it because it, does, it doesn't throbbing. stretch. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fucking stretch. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, fuck. Yeah. It's not like a finger yeah. where it's, yeah. you know, and it hurts, or it's too loose. Yeah. So I ended up buying, like, I found these, like, rubber things that you You were wearing toe condoms? Yeah. Oh, because you wear those little booties. Well, you I haven't been wearing shit. them. I haven't been wearing them. You've been wearing the booties, though? I, when I had those, I was wearing them. They do make a difference for Are your you. Are you not toes wearing too. the booties now? Not right now, no. Uh, no, I, only, I was only wearing them because I didn't want to get, like, I was competing a lot. I was trying to get the booties, but they only make them a little bit yeah, sizes. Yeah, they only make smaller sizes. They don't make, um, you Full know, size. Yeah, full size. I'm fun size, remember. Fun size. He was trying to say something a minute ago about being big, and I said, fuck that, we took his big card. <laughs> you got a little card now, little homie. Right, You're the I'll little homie it. officially. I'll take it. You're the little old homie. But anyway. Oh, the big guns, though. I'm not bitch made for wearing fucking tape on my toes. Stop looking at my fucking toes, you motherfucker. No, yeah. It's, it's, um, I think tape is a normal thing. For so I got toes. something that's real fucking groundbreaking, I think. Oh, shit. This, this was a second Here beer kind of conversation. Take second a beer, that, all right. Take a sip of that beer real quick. All right. If you have a beer, fucking drink it. I have a blue moon now. And he has an 805 Or get now. back to work because you're lazy and you're listening to a podcast yeah. instead of working, Josh. I mean, yeah. uh, whoever's listening. Whoever's listening. Okay. <laughs> so this is, this is some big shit. Are you familiar with the term autoerotic officiation? Yes, unfortunately. So explain to me what that means. It means you're choking yourself <clears throat> right before you... Uh, Right before you Get come. Off. Yeah. Okay, so. People have died from that shit. There was a movie. Robin Williams was Two in Two of your movie. fucking boys died from that shit. The one that you mentioned earlier. Who? The cook. The chef. He didn't die from that. He killed himself. He was hanging. He hung himself from a doorknob. Yeah, he killed himself. It wasn't... He didn't... He wasn't Did he hurt. kill himself? Or was he trying to blast off one and go another stratosphere and fucking died? I mean, Maybe. I, you know the movie. I saw a movie with uh, Robin Williams where his son was like fucked up, and then he finds his son. He, he fuck his son. He found his son dead. Yeah. Was fucking yeah. digging his hands because he did that shit. Okay, so we know what it is. Yeah, yeah. So imagine you're rolling a hard ass fucking round with somebody. <laughs> I shit's know going, going fucking. <laughs> shit's going, it's, it's it's back and forth. You're going back and forth, right? Finally, you take this motherfucker's back. You sink in the nastiest rear naked choke. And homie goes, uh, uh, and he fucking comes. Uh, do you finish that choke or do you let him go? Oh, he's going to sleep. Oh, he's going to fucking yeah, sleep. That's it. what I was hoping you would say. He's going to sleep. I was hoping you were going to say, no, I'd let him go. No, no fuck that. You finish that. You work for that shit. Do you feel like less of a man because you made another man come? No. Me they, either. As long as he goes to sleep, I'm like, he was just a bitch. Yeah. That was a body malfunction. I want to know what you guys think. <laughs> you still rolling after you make one blast one, or you let it go? Fuck, we need a rated R, uh, a rated R rating for this fucking shit. <laughs> we said in the very first podcast. We did say. We initially yeah. did say, "Hey, no holding back." Yeah. So if you're listening to this without headphones on, we <laughs> all like to come when we do jujitsu. <laughs> was yeah. uh, I was watching the Craig Jones podcast, and he was like. Um, he has a keep keep jujitsu jitsu gay shirt, <laughs> <laughs> and he, yeah. he was like, he's like, if you do jujitsu, you you have those friends that you like. Hey, he's jujitsu, and they're yeah. like, that's the gayest shit ever. Yeah. I hundred percent, verse and uh, Kenny and fucking Dark Zero have friends that are like. You just, they always give me shit. They're like, you just want to go hug men. Why don't you play video games with us? Because he's hugging men. He's hugging men. Kenny wears the biggest pants I've ever seen. Kenny, Kenny does. And he pants. wears the Air the Dads. Parachutes. parachutes. And Air Dads. And he golfs. I'm he's down like, with, hey, we're getting golf clubs this summer. What's up? Uh, he's really good at golf. 
Hey man, fuck him. I'm just trying to get drunk. Oh, we do get drunk. Last time he took me, we took one time we went. Uh, I don't, I don't like golfing that much, but we went I golfing. Do. It's fun. He took me golfing. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna take you. So we went golfing, and then he brought a bunch of beer, and so we just drank. And then apparently hot dogs are a thing at golf clubs. Like probably because they're easier to cook. Yeah, they just have hot dogs, so we just had like hot dogs and golfing and. I just remember fucking having to piss because I drank so many goddamn beers. You can piss on the and I guess there's a rule where, like, if you miss the tee or you miss your shot or whatever, you have to shoot from the women's uh, yeah, with your pants down or oh, something shit. like that. Like, there's a like a unwritten rule you got. I'm like, God damn it. That sounds like some gay shit. Yeah, it's so back gay. to some gay shit. So what I mean, position would you get into where you would stop if you felt the homie blast one on you? If you're mounted on someone, you got that cross collar deep. It's deep in there. You see him fucking going, ah, No, he's going to sleep. Ah, and then he blasts one while you're mounted. North, south. If I was in north, south. You would stop? Yeah, if I was like north, south, and you went for like, uh, um, what is it, the, uh, the, the baseball bat choke, you know? And they're on top of you? Maybe. Yeah, and then I might be like, fuck. Fuck off me, bitch. But you. But that's was... a brutal one. If you catch a baseball bat. A baseball bat choke sucks if they catch you in it. Oof. That shit's dirty. Yeah. There's not a single position if you try to come on me that I will stop because I've <laughs> earned that fucking shit. He earned that shit. Yeah. So I'm trying. He's like, I'm going to wipe it off and yeah. keep going. Keep it fucking ripping. I mean, You're five million. We already know. Five million. If you got five million, come see me. <laughs> uh, I asked a whole bunch of people. Not a single person said no to that. I think you're the only person that said no. There's no way. Because I think, secretly, you're a closeted gay man. No. I'm, I'm good. You're, all your other homies think so. You just said so. All my other homies. Like, you also said you wouldn't stop if they come. As long as they go to sleep. I so think you, keep, go to sleep. you keep putting in that work when they're about to blast one. Why? Why this guy? Don't listen to anything <laughs> this guy says. This guy. Ah, uh, shit. You I've been waiting all day to ask you, you that. You're too much. That's what's happening. I've been waiting all day to ask you that. I'm disappointed in you. Uh, no, I'm not stopping either. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I worked for that shit. I worked for that fucking, that, that choke or whatever the fuck we're getting. As, you know, some, if, let, let's say like I'm toe holding someone and they blast one. I might stop for that. A toe hold? Because that's some real weird shit. Mm. I don't know if I want to be friends with someone that weird. You, you think of... <sighs> Wait, what if you're in a competition? Say you're in a competition. Again, you got some dude's back. Oh, I'm going to be like, you're ref! Fuck, you're I'm going to be like, ref! <laughs> you think they would get DQ'd? I hope he gets DQ'd. I don't think they'll get DQ'd. I'm going to get the D- I'm going to be like, oh, so. that's, that's assault. <laughs> <laughs> it is assault. Yeah, it's assault. I don't think in the IBJJF rule set, though, you get DQ'd it's for blasting one. That needs to be put in the rules. If you blast one, you should you or should you not be DQ'd? You should be DQ'd. Hit us in the comments. Let me know yeah, if you want to get DQ'd. Definitely be DQ'd. Yeah. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty gnarly. Yeah. We really need some lights for this podcast, man. It's looking good, I think. Yeah, no, it looks good, but I'd like, I'd like a little... Light. We need some flair in the background. I look good as shit. What anyway, do you guys think? Do we need so, some flair in the background? I think we need a little flair in the background. On some other, on some other shit. All right. What? Anyone can get it, yes or no? Uh, what do you mean? What do you think I mean? Anyone can get it. Yeah. That sounds pretty vague. I'm, I mean, I'm going to say anyone can get it. Fuck it. Okay. I'm going out. Let's say you roll with a big kid. Can uh, you get it? A what? A big kid. Like a Jared. Can he get it? He's a purple belt, so yes. He's fucking getting He's it, getting right? It. All right. What if you roll with a big-ass chick like Gabby Garcia? Can she get it? She's getting it. I mean, I'm trying to fucking give it to her. That bitch is she's big as fuck. Smashing. Yeah, she's Let's probably smashing. Yeah, I mean, she's smashing I, both. She probably smashes both together. If if think about this, what's her name? Smasher. Uh, someone at ADCC, some chick that I don't know. No, her no, name. Um, Megatone's daughter, Mackenzie Smasher. Mackenzie Smasher. She beat her. Mackenzie Ma- could get it. She, yeah, she would smash you. Mackenzie. Yeah, she would. We might go back you. to the last subject. She'll destroy you. I you mean, might come. <laughs> <laughs> took a while to catch that one. <laughs> I, get it. I might just look at it. Did take it I might let her just take my back. Yeah, you'd be like, ah. Oh. Just give her the back real quick. I'm like, please, please choke me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I think about Mackenzie Dern, uh, I remember, fuck you, I'm just going to tell you about the bat, but Seinfeld, there's that episode of Seinfeld. Hello, Seinfeld. When, when they're in the restaurant um, and he's with that date and the girl's like, oh, you have mayonnaise on your face. And she like wipes the mayonnaise off his face. She has man hands. Have you seen Mackenzie Dern's hands? I'm sure they're fucked up. She's they're, a fighter. They look like fucking. They look like Megatone's hands. I don't give a fuck. They, they are fucking. She she got some fucking wishbone fingers. Like those shits are thick. Like I'm like, god damn. So do you not beat your own shit? What do you mean? Because you I probably mean, got manlier hands she than she does. <laughs> I don't. Have, her hands are way more. No, 
for sure. No, no. It ain't bother me. Hey. So back to anyone can get it, right? Vixation, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, fucking just keeping it fucking one hundo with you motherfuckers. All right, so let's say uh, you, you go to some school or you got a new student that rolls in. This new student, all right, you're still a little bitch ass blue belt in this scenario, right? You got a new student comes in. You're like, hey, man, they look a little bit different from us. And they start rolling. They roll into whatever. And they might be wearing like a fitted gi. You know what I'm saying? Like, you and I don't wear fitted gis. Mm -hmm. Mostly men don't wear fitted gis. You know who you are if you're a man. You wear a fitted gi. <laughs> so what if you roll with this chick and you're fucking giving it to her, right? Because you got it. Because anyone can get it, right? Anyone can get it every fucking day of the week, right? Men. Huh? Men. No? I don't, I don't go hard with the girls like you. Well, I don't go hard with them either. You be trying to throw them through the earth. But well, anyone can get it. We can go back to anyone <laughs> fucking get it. You know what I'm, I'm fucking saying? 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, see me. <laughs> see me at fucking 10. You see me at the 10 a.m. class, you know what the fuck's going on. Uh, anyway, so do you think you should give it... All right, so this goes... I'm, to me, reword this better. All right, yeah, please do. So we're not, we're not... We both agree you should not use strength against women. Technique only, right? A, bla a black belt told me that. It's like, hey, I, I, roll, with, I roll with women the same way I roll with dudes. So I don't use strength. I just use yeah. all technique, right? I, I would agree with that. I think, I think it's, it's disingenuous for yourself and for them if you use your strength versus your technique. Yeah. And let's be honest. It's a great opportunity for you to see your technique work. Yeah, but most strength. women usually are tech more technical than guys. 100%. Yeah, like my wife, her fucking leg comes out. I don't know where the yeah, fuck yeah, comes 100%. from. I can never pass her guard. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so you roll with this chick. She's wearing a fucking Habrook gi. She's all fucking fitted out and shit. And then you. Wait, I got a Habrook gi. You got a Habrook gi? Yeah, I got a Habrook gi. Got a big ass Aztec dude in this inside. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, and you feel a little meat on her. Is she getting the man smoke or is she getting the woman smoke? It depends. It depends. You gotta fill it out. Feel the pressure. Yeah. How's you know she got the test. How's her smash game? Yeah. You know, if she yeah. smash and pass you, you might have to. You might have to. Do, you might have to switch a, it up. There's no strength. On there's, a, there's a little adjustments. Mic, yeah. Micro adjustments. Micro adjustments. Micro adjustments. All right, so this That's is the, the scenario. Thing. Okay, so you're fucking around. You're like, hey, it's a chick. I'm trying to work my half guard game. Or I'm trying to work my guard game. She pops your. She pops your guard open. She starts going. You collect her in half guard, and she's trying to fucking smash pass, and you feel the fucking sausage. <laughs> She's, she's not an Anavar, is what you're saying. She's, she's, she's on not an Anavar. It ain't big. She's yeah, on the she, deck. She's on the trend. She's on the trend. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? You feel the, the trend beat. alone. Yeah, yeah. No, she getting it. She getting it. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. This was not a woman. She dressed like a woman. Oh, he, oh, then just smashed. But she is a woman. No. She identifies as a woman. I don't give a fuck. I identify. So if you identify it as a woman. I don't give a fuck. You but you smash. got the meat. You can smash. The sausage. You can smash. You're getting it. You're getting it. That's what I'm fucking saying, too. Yeah. But I treat them equally, not because they're less than or you, different. You can say you want to be whatever you want. Yeah, I'll respect that. But you ain't. Got, if you coming you, at me with the come, pressure and you got the fucking meat, you're getting the you, man smash. You got the man strength. That's you what ain't I'm got saying. Man strength, so you get yeah. smashed. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But I like the way where you're going. If they're on steroids, how do they get it? They're getting it. Yeah, for real. Yeah. If you're a chick and you're on fucking steroids, good we're for you. Strength. Good for you though. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Because I'm trying to get it back like you're going to get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I want... <laughs> I'm trying to look like you. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking saying. Because those chicks that get on the shit, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. There's a ref in World League. There, well, there, that, Woo! That guy, you ever see that guy? He goes to like all the um, like body... Daddy or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy or not? Yeah, Kenny he went, or whatever? He went to this one chick... And she was like, yes, she's, I'm fucking... She's like, I'm natty. I'm natty. I'm like, bitch, you are yeah. not natty. Okay, so Fuck out of here. Let's go back to the scenario. You, you're training at a new school or you got a new student coming in, you know, first day or they're not first day. You know, they're, they're a purple belt. They're legit, right? Yeah, they got, they're some, a John they got Jock, some shit. They're you a John Jock Machado purple belt. Okay, they got some moves. And they roll up and they're looking fine too, like a lady boy. Like they might trick you. <laughs> oh, right? are we in Thailand or something? Like, we're, we're, we're somewhere. Okay. And, you know, they don't look like a dude. And you're like, damn, what's up, girl? And you get paired up to roll with her, right? And then she slaps her hand and said, what up? <laughs> How's she getting it? You're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting the sacrifice so right to the face. So you're, you're an equal opportunity giver. I'm equal opportunity. Yeah. I'm with that. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Not, well, I'm equal strength opportunity. Like, if you got the, if you have the strength of a man and you have the bone density of a man, you get in, you get in handle like a man. Especially if that bone's dense. Especially if that bone's dense. <laughs> this fucking guy. God damn it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All 
trying, know, this, to, get, this, trying this, to get us fucking canceled <laughs> already. This was this was a this was a topic that's been brought up in, uh, amongst the the secret circles. I don't give a fuck. We I, no, not that. I'm going to somewhere new. Oh shit! Uh, but All yeah, right. anyone can get it. Trans, fuck, whatever you are. I'm equal opportunity smash. <laughs> if you come fun. at me with the heat, I'm you're gonna the get heat. the fucking yeah. heat yeah. because I'm old and fat, like we talked about. I, I, will, I was gonna. If you catch me in some shit, you're gonna fuck my that, shit up. That was a conversation. That was something I was gonna talk about earlier when we were talking about like, injuries and shit. Yeah. Like, dude, I'm like an older dude. I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't want to admit it, but you're like, forty as shit. Yeah, I'm forty as shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm forty as shit. That's the next tattoo. Forty as shit. <laughs> Um, you know, and so, like, am I training hard? Yeah. Am I training more than, like, most 40-year-olds? Probably. Fucking training way harder than most 40-year-old fucking people. No, but, for sure. For sure. Um, I don't know where I was going. God damn, this beer is good, bro. Damn, homie. That's what happens you don't drink for two I don't months. I drink for fucking three months, man. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, anyway you fucking get let's it. Let's so, continue. Th- this is a topic from <coughs> anyway, more of the after... <laughs> The after the, show. The after dark topic. The here. after dark topic. So more, you know, a lot of us hang out. We talk about shit. We talk about people that aren't there anymore or whatever. Have you ever gotten... Well, so most... Let's just say this. The only girl... I've, I've rolled with like three girls. 99% of the time it's my wife. I've rolled with a lot of women. Oh, man. That's not looking good for you right now. <laughs> so... It's not looking good for you right now. We're about to get on a wild one right here. Oh, so shit. I've heard stories. It's not having me. All right. I've heard stories of dudes getting bricked up while rolling. Oh, no. So, that's what un- happens? That's unacceptable. Yeah, if you're rolling with a chick. Unacceptable, 100%. It's unacceptable all the time. So, what if you're rolling with a dude, and, like, you're okay, you're, you're in half guard, right? And you're fucking working that smash pass. And you're going forearm to stop resisting choke. Forearm, and homie starts getting up and gets bricked up. What are you doing? You're getting the knee to the fucking shit. Are you finishing the pass or you're not? You just oh, fucking I'm finishing the, the pass. I'm finishing the pass. Yeah, no, I'm finishing the pass. Then I'm getting the choke and making it. I told you to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he goes to sleep, we said yeah. it was okay. Yeah, it's a lot of, yeah. As long as he doesn't go to sleep, you know what? We, you know, we got to be careful here because now I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I, we got to be careful because yeah. we're towing the line and I'm going to say some shit and I don't want us to get canceled. We just yeah. started, okay? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Beer drink set. Yeah, break. Let's, let's have a let's have a little beer drink. Mm. And I asked for six more. That was yeah, a stupid that was idea. Not a good idea. That was a stupid idea. We have to say those for tomorrow. Yeah, one hundred percent. God damn it! Where are you gonna go? I, I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm not. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Anyone can get it. That's all I, I got to say. I plead the fifth. Anyone can get it. That's what I. Yeah, you yeah. are right. Anyone can get it. Yeah. Let's go on to something that's less gay. I would hope so. I mean, you you bring why do, up... Why do you talk gay? Why do you talk gay? <laughs> <laughs> um, at the Worlds this weekend, mm-hmm. Tynan Dopra got smashed by Jansen. You guys heard me talk about Jansen last time. I knew this motherfucker was a truth. I wouldn't say he got I smashed. Tynan was on the bottom. Which, when do you ever see him on the bottom? Doesn't matter. Never. I don't think he got smashed. He didn't have the work. Fucking... Fucking he Jansen, didn't get smashed. Jansen hit him with the Michael Jackson this, shit. No, no, like, listen, listen. Ha, ha, ha. Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Linda. This went back to our conversation where we were saying, should you win by advantage? He won by two, two advantage points. Yeah, two advantage. But he... But, but it wasn't because he... It was he, dominance. It wasn't because he smashed. It wasn't because he no, passed. It, was it wasn't because he fucking... He took he his just, back. We didn't get the hooks in. It was the that was only, one of the advantages. The only thing is that he couldn't... Like, he held him. Yeah. And yeah, but it. yeah, but if you if you don't want to get held, I, I'm not taking it away from him. He yeah. fucking won. Yeah. But when you, it's it wasn't a straight up like, um, it it wasn't a straight up like murder. It wasn't a slaughter. It wasn't yeah. like he got completely. But he dominated. got he got he got put on him. He did really so, good though. And he got hit with the Michael Jackson shake. But so I'm going somewhere with this. Tynan is one of my favorite jujitsu grapp whatever you want to call them, athletes. Mm-hmm. I fucking love this kid. Okay. I found out about him when I first started. And then I immediately noticed he rolls like Omar, so I like him even more. Mm-hmm. I have a conspiracy theory about this. Oh, oh, here we go. I think Tynan. First of all, I like Jansen Gomez too. That's my fucking dog. I was I talked about him other podcasts. I didn't think he was going to win the world, but I thought he was going to do well. Mm-hmm. I was really excited when he fought when he lost when he beat uh, 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 Ty. Mm-hmm. Okay. We all know they basically only test the winners. Second place. 
Sometimes they test second okay. place. It's not often. It's usually only the winners, and usually it's only one of them. It gets really expensive to test. Yeah. And the IBJJF is cheap as fuck. Pay the athletes, you cheap fucks. Um, I think Tynan is on the shit, and he lost on purpose. Because no one's ever done that to Tynan. He was 60-0 and 0 in the IBJJF. He wouldn't have. He, even if. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got more. I got more. I got, oh, I got, okay, I got okay. more. There's a conspiracy theory that's a pretty strong rumor. I've heard it for some pretty fucking legit dudes. I can't say the sources. Craig Jones? No. More than Craig Jones. Okay. This is, I heard this in person from someone legit. All right. Both the Mendez brothers popped and retired early because of that. Because if you retire, they don't announce that you popped. Both of them. Both those motherfuckers I, from AOJ. I have... have you ever, do you follow... First of all, fuck Tynan because my wife is in love with you. Do you follow <laughs> that motherfucker? No. Have you ever seen him without a shirt on? No. Holy shit. He looks, sure like fuck, he looks like Gordon Ryan. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So, so here's the deal. Even if you were concerned that you were going to get popped, it, was, it would be worth your value to win the Worlds and keep your record and then take that record and go on to I don't think for so. the win. I don't think go so. Go on to I think, ADCC. No, no, I think go he, on to he's everything never, he's else. Never gonna go to ADCC. And, but you'll carry that record no, with you. I don't think so because you and I have a different opinion on steroids or, or the use of quote unquote PEDs. Mm-hmm. Like, oh man, I'm on the shit. What's up? I don't give a fuck. I'm not out there competing at the fucking highest levels of the world. And if you are, the guys, all of them are on the shit, right? There is a substantial so, amount of yeah. people on the shit. I think he was on the shit. And he just didn't put forth his best effort. Because if you watch the fights before that, he smashed everyone. It wasn't even like it was close. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I also think Cole Bate's on the shit. He's just, they're just young, dude. They're full of fucking testosterone, bro. All they do is train. I know a lot of motherfuckers that are like that that aren't Jack Diesel like that. But they don't train like they do. I think they're on the shit. It's tough to say. It is hard to say. It's tough but, to say. I mean, performances, like... How do you just shit the bed? Like, I also think they should do the Worlds on one day. No. I think they should do it on one day. I like, I, you know, I, I was a little irritated because we had gone and the idea was, like, to stay. Did you not know it was on two days? It was more than two days. No, the Black was only two days. Oh. Well, I mean, Worlds all together was more than two days. Yeah, you did not know that? It, just go on Sunday. Yeah, just go on Sunday. Yeah, I did not know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I did not know Sunday was the day to go. That's when everybody was there. Yeah, yeah. So next time... Like Bushesha was there. Yeah, like next time there. Sunday is when I will yeah. be there. But if you... <laughs> also, if you've Bushesha, ever gone to one Bushesha's of these... Bushesha's 100% on the shit. So if you've ever gone to one of these tournaments, it's like a lot of... It, it does... It gets, quite, it gets quite boring after a while. Uh, That's why I was saying amateur jiu-jitsu is better. Yeah, so... But I think if you go on a Sunday, I think the vibe will be completely fucking different. Yeah, because everyone it's more serious, but then it's that full Brazilian shit where everyone's fucking chanting and going all Dude, wild. Sorry, this time the battery died. We have a solution for the heating. Hopefully it works, and, uh, but we're back. Anyways, a lot, of, a lot of channels have like names for their subscribers. Oh, shit. And I think you, you, you started off this whole podcast from the beginning with the right name. White Bell Slayers? White Bell Slayers. I think, I think that's... That should be the term for fans, yeah. subscribers, whatever. It should be just white belts. Like, did you I get? Agree. You know what? Secondly, did you give everyone their shirts? They'll There's be, a lot of comments on that fucking shit. Where's their shirts? I made if I made five of each. So by the time this comes out, they'll all be ready to get. Hit me up. They'll be ready to pick up. Bring them with you. Keep them with you. I keep give me some to keep with me. So when they ask, I can give them some, and then right. you have some, <clears throat> right. so that. Because Those are the free ones. Yeah, the free ones. But 40 and Fighting shirts, which are going to be hot as fuck. I, I, like, I like the logo, man. See our new logo? What's I like up? The logo. Flexing out. Logo so we're going to do a shirt that just has the Street Fighter 40 and Fighting logo on it. Um, those ones are going to be seventy five fifty. A Brazilian dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy five fifty. I don't know. I don't know. We'll they they won't be expensive. Yeah, we'll figure it uh, out. I'd just be stoked if you guys wear them. Why, wear those white belt Slayer shirts. Because when, cool. when I heard the Tia's will be hitting you up to get one of those. The Tia's? Yeah. <laughs> Might be Tia Slayer on the next one. You know what I'm Tia saying? Tia Slayer? Blowing those backs out. Oh, my God. 